Good morning, Mission Prep. Uh, <laughs> why, guys? Okay, I'm thing one. <laughs> I'm thing two. And, uh, please stand for prayer. May is the month set aside for special prayer, especially the rosary, to Mary, the Mother of God. It is the month we honor our biological mothers as well. Our prayer this morning and every morning during this month will reflect our special devotion to her as we pray the Hail Mary together this month after our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the, of the United States, States of America. America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey everyone, it's our 75th episode. Wow, we're getting old. The AP English Lit exam is tomorrow morning. If you are in the act class, or if you are a cat Ikeda, be there. Sophomores, if you signed up for the sophomore retreat, there's a mandatory meeting in room 214 today at lunch. See you then. Alpha Mothers... Day flowers. If you ordered a Mother's Day bouquet and have not paid, please come to the Camus Ministry office and turn in your twelve dollars. Cards for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is May eighteenth. May eighth. May eighth. So it's not too late to do something nice for your mom. Come to the art studio at lunch today, later this week or next week, to create a lovely card for her. Lovely. There is a music ministry in the pack at lunch today. Oh yeah. Flex tutoring. There will be double flex tutoring tomorrow. Sign-ups are available now until 10.20 a.m. tomorrow. Make sure to sign up for both. Seniors and juniors, you are invited to the Royal Ball at the Cypress Ridge Pavilion May 14th from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sophomores may go if they are invited. Freshmen may, may not, not attend. attend. Tickets are on sale, and you must have a signed prom contract to purchase them. $15 for a couple and 10 for bachelors or bachelorettes. Now sports. Sports report. Sports. We have golf at the Pac-8 Individual Qualifier at 2 p.m. Dismissed to be announced because no one cares to give us the exact time for your dismissal, so you better know. We also have swim at Pac-8 Girls Prelim at 3 p.m. Dismiss TBA. Okay, really? Again, no dismissal time. Come on. We, so hopefully the teams are updated to know these things. And there's a tennis at slow at 3.30. Dismiss it. 2.35. Yes, finally. We get an exact time. Yeah. Varsity Baseball at Paso Robles at 4.30 p.m. Dismiss at 2.15. And we got Softball at St. Joseph at 4.30. Dismiss at 2.30. We got Varsity Volleyball versus Slow at 5.30 p.m. There we go. All right. And those were the sports. Bye. If you haven't registered at Cuesta or Hancock to take a non-MCP course this summer and you plan on doing that, please do so immediately. Registration began yesterday for Hancock and May 6th for Cuesta. Please have your counselor... See your counselor, not have your counselor, if you have any questions. That's a typo. Pick up scholarship applications in the, the College Counseling, Counseling Office. Office. May 6th is the Daughters of American Revolution Scholarship. May 6th also the Slow Exchange Club Scholarship. And May 20th is the American Society of Civil Engineers. AP exams are going on this week and next week. Bring, bring a number two pencil. Not two pencils, a number two pencil. Probably should bring two. Or deaths. Or and... Black ink pens for some of the exams. Well, and you want both. If your exam allows a calculator, bring an authorized calculator with the new batteries. Students taking the AP exams are excused from regular classes on the day of their exam. If you are taking an AP course, you must be in the cafe at your exam on time as listed in the handbook calendar. Arrive early. If there is an emergency or a serious illness on the day of your exam, please call the school office as soon as humanly possible. End of part one. Intermission. End of intermission. Part two. The dress code is not enforced for students who are testing. However, students should dress in layers and wear socks and shoes. As the gym can be really cold. Frigid. Frozen. No cell phones. If you use one during the exam or the break, you will be dismissed. You'd be kicked out. I don't know why we said dismissed. 
Anyway, if you need to, drop off your cell phone with Lori in the front office during the exam. That's the best way to stay safe with that one. Yep. Uh, no one who's not taking the test can go into the gym during testing. And please, be quiet around the cafe for those who are testing. So long. Farewell. Adi, best I can find. So long. Farewell.